What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copar in Oklahoma City for another walk around. So let's jump into it with what appears to be, <clears throat> man, <clears throat> I can't get the frog out of my throat. That Impala from yesterday, I got so sick. I mean, so sick looking in that car that smelled like rotten meat. Now I can't get the frog out of my throat and it's making me sick again. <clears throat> so please forgive me. We're going to carry on. This is a Copart Direct Honda Civic, a 2001. If it's a manual, this is an even better deal because I love this generation of the Civic. This is one of my favorite generations of the Civic. I love this car. It was a crazy redesign, man. It looks really, really sharp. But <clears throat> the more I look at it, the more I realize she's... She's a lot rougher than I thought at first glance. First of all, obviously, it's been hit in the back, whatever. To me, that's not a huge deal. It doesn't look that bad. Although, trust me when I tell you, it could be a lot worse, even though this doesn't look that bad. There could be a lot of damage hiding back there. <clears throat> Moving on, there are... This car waves more than the Pacific Ocean. Uh, this thing is... There are dents and waves just everywhere this was a repaint it was not a very good one the white wheels it almost has that it almost sort of has that fast and furious look to it it's kind of a nice looking car but i also noticed this trail of what i can only presume to be oil coming out the bottom of it but it is listed as a run and drive so there you have it, 201,000 miles. Door handle's broken, but we may still be able to open it. We are. All right, it's an automatic. Dag nabbit. Well, I was hoping for something a little better than an auto, guys, but it's got the fake carbon fiber package. Yeah, she's tore up, guys. There's bugs crawling on me. Gross. This door panel's coming completely apart. There is a thermostat sitting in the driver's seat, so I'm sure that's I'm sure that's a good sign. The hood's already popped, so not a problem of getting in there. Let's check the trunk, the hatch. Since we're already over here, let's have a quick peek. We'll pop the hood. Let's see if this shows us how bad the damage is. Oh yeah. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. This cardboard is torn up, but. Back here, I'd be looking for a bunch of wrinkled up metal, and I don't see it. So I think under here is probably okay. Obviously, you'll need a hatch. There's red overspray all over the lights. That tells you how good they did of prepping. And then you've got red all over the cylinder for the key there, so... The trunk still closes, though. So there's that. All right, let's take a peek under the hood. Ugh. Oh, she's, she's kind of stuck there. Or something else is holding it down. What do we got going on here? Ugh. Come on. That thing is all bent up. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure all that oil is coming from this car. I'm certain of it. I've seen this sitting here for a few weeks now and i've debated coming over and looking at it and i've changed my mind and every week this trail of oil just gets bigger and bigger and bigger so is it coming from the trans is it coming from the engine i have no idea it may not be coming from this car who knows let's check the trans fluid real quick just see if there's anything in there at all and there is all right step one doesn't look like it's coming out of the transmission then, so almost has to be coming out of the engine, if it's this car. Let's take a peek at the oil level here. Oh, it's clean oil, but it's definitely below that first mark there, so it's definitely coming out of the engine. Going to throw a guess out there that she's got a hole in the oil pan. Let's see if we can get you guys down there. Oh... Oh yeah, I can see it. It's dripping steadily out of the engine. Or it was. <sighs> Let me move to the other side. I wasn't thinking. This side's the transmission. This side is the engine. Let's see if I can get you guys up. Up under there. Maybe you can see it. 
if you saw it you saw it if you didn't then you missed out because i ain't doing that again there's a lot of oil look at all the red overspray yeah well i was going to start this one and check it out uh i'm not going to because the oil level is just it's really low guys that's really low and i'm not going to be responsible for breaking somebody's car here so we're just not going to mess with it anyway there it is a bit she needs a lot of body work guys in my opinion this car is not worth it if it was a stick shift maybe possibly but even then probably not but being an automatic it needs everything guys so moving on so i guess next we can walk through some of the carnage cars here's a uh here's a hyundai that has seen better days i actually used to really love this generation i loved it it was a great sonata i thought i thought it looked a little more professional it had a nice look to it in my opinion you got this cadillac over here that well yeah that's <laughs> you got this cadillac over here there ain't much left of it moving on down the line we'll just kind of walk around you guys remember these we walked by these what was it last week i think gmc yukon xl you got the denali next to it and wow Whew. yeah that infinity took a gnarly hit so if you're new to the channel new to these types of videos i like to just kind of wander around my local copart yard i travel around the country too from time to time i don't do it very often but i think i think it may be about time for a trip back to los angeles it's been on my mind lately kind of something pulling on my heartstrings and i talked to monkey wrench mike and he is absolutely down to go back to la so maybe sometime in the upcoming future maybe we'll take a little trip out to los angeles take a look at the rolls royces the bentleys the lamborghinis the mclarens the ferraris they got all the good cars out there guys they got all the money out there is why <laughs> they got all the money they got all the good cars all right moving on down the list what i'm looking for is anything that stands out to me as something that might be you know relatively easy to fix or just interesting to film and how can you pass up yellow okay yes it's a little hyundai it's a little velociraptor is what i've always called them it's a cute car i i think uh this particular color might not be something that i would drive around in but it sure beats walking look it's even got a bejeweled butterfly on the back you know and it used to have like a sunflower or something on the back there as well not a not a bad looking car uh, it's hard to even say that it's just the yellow i think man it's so it's just so bright i like yellow and i guess on the shady side of things it's a dark yellow but when you get to where what little of the sun is actually shining on it it's a it's a bright yellow i can't decide if i like it or i don't and i don't feel like there's an in-between uh it doesn't matter anyway here it is let's see if we've got blown bags doesn't look like it no no blown bags no blown pretensioners automatic it doesn't smell the greatest but it doesn't smell bad it's not awful now that i've smelled that that one car i'm just going to call it that one car from now on <laughs> now that now that we have smelled that uh impala <laughs> it's the uh the definition for me of smell bad has has changed drastically <sighs> hear that little rattle give it a second it usually goes away it's running rough check engine light is flashing that too will typically go away these cars sit for quite a while and sometimes they just got to run a little bit build up oil pressure get the fuel flowing through it again all the fluids circulating and they start cleaning up this one has 137,000 miles on the odometer love the little screen there veloster I don't know what that little thing does there. I guess it doesn't do anything. It looks like it should do something though. Ooh. That's not good. There is something very wrong in there. 
For sure. Important window works. The steering does not feel good. <laughs> the steering does not feel good on this one. You got some damage right here and over here on the rocker. Front bumper is obviously destroyed. The hood needs to be replaced. These are cheap parts, should be easy to find, inexpensive. It is running kind of rough. I was really hoping she'd clear up. It doesn't look like it's gonna clear up though. She's not rattling. She's not making any crazy noises. Uh, headlight maybe. Headlight's still intact. We got some gap issues going on over here too. Yeah, you can see they're scraping. The hood is actually inside the door. The fender is under the hood. This door panel is outside of the fender. This may be one of those rare ones where it doesn't look like it's that bad, but there might actually be some frame damage on this one, guys. Obviously, the brunt of the impact was over here, but I'm wondering if it didn't push the frame out of the way. I think it did. We got major gap issues right here. That's massive. Yeah. She's got no way. It sure doesn't look like, especially with no blown bags or, or blown pretensioners or anything. I'll be. Let's give her a little gas, see if the check engine light goes out. Come on, old girl. Come out of it. No. No, she's got a dead miss. All right, well, I guess that one is short, sweet, and to the point. Damn. That really did look like an easy fix too. All right, we'll continue walking around to see if we see anything that looks like we might be interested. A lot of really smashed cars. Um, I think that's to be expected when you are browsing around a salvage yard. There is another Veloster right there. This one went off-roading. She's got, well, she's got damage everywhere. Good Lord, yeah. That one is pretty rough. All right, now we're moving over. Across the road, we'll start in a whole nother lane. And this is what I do, guys. I just walk a lot. And I enjoy it. It's kind of therapeutic for me. Not to mention, it's healthy to get out and walk as well. This son of a gun, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this one's in bad shape. Tiguan. Okay. Well, let's continue on our mission and see if we can find anything. A lot of these are repeats, so I'm not going to get into them like this one right here. We showed this one two or three weeks ago. It's still here. There's a lot of them that are still sitting here. So I got to remember which ones we've seen so that I don't repeat them again. Look at this. Good Lord. 285,000 miles on this Lexus. What is this, an ES350? ES4? I don't know. I don't remember what the Lexus were from this day and age. What was it, an ES400? ES350 and an ES400, right? I can't remember. Then you got this, good Lord. What happened to you? Wow. Man. I mean, the front end of the truck is almost into the cab. Wow. The stuff you see out here, guys, it, uh, it makes you think. You guys might remember this one. This is interesting. This Land Rover that we showed previously, it's still sitting here. And you know what the great part is about it? It's still sitting aired up, except for this left front wheel. It looks like it went down some, but the rest of it is sitting up still. So the air suspension seems to be holding for the most part. I ought to pull this up real quick and see if it's got any bids. Well, as it turns out, this one is not for sale yet. And then what do we have here? A GMC Yukon. Good Lord. Wow. 
that's another one you could just that, that hurt that hurt now here's something you don't see every day a chrysler sebring now this one's been on fire so obviously this is this is done we're not even going to worry about it somebody that loved dogs though man lots of dog stuff all over it she definitely got crispy wonder if the hood opens oh yeah yeah boy she she went to it didn't she good night you got a, a dog over here and vehicle will be towed there you go inoperable vehicle yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go out on a limb and say it is truly an inoperable vehicle i don't think this vehicle will ever run again but i used to love these cars oh you can't you can't get into it no door handle's missing on that side and it looks like it's locked on that side well okay i guess that's a wrap on that then here's a hybrid volkswagen that's seen better days as well moving on down the road let's see what else we got if i don't find something soon i'm gonna stop filming and i'll come back when we actually get to something that's somewhat interesting man there's so many of these just completely demolished cars I mean, that thing got flattened like a pancake. Look at that. Here's a Ford Explorer ST. Oh, the front end smashed on that one as well. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. That's a low hit. All right, well, I could do this all day, guys. I mean, I'm going to do this for the rest of my day, but there's no reason you guys should have to do it with me. So, oh, wait a minute. What about this one? Yeah, I know. Nobody cares for these. What is it, a little C350? Or is it a C300? I like this. A C250. Okay. All right. Well, nice bright white. I mean, that thing is... It's got to be like an Arctic white. Very, very bright. A few questions with the damage. Obviously, fenders and doors can be replaced. No big deal. But did it damage the A-pillar? Did it damage the B pillar? And I can already see that it might have yeah, it damaged the C pillar. So let's let's oh let's take a look. Let's see how bad it is. All right, good news. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yes, the dog leg is damaged, but most of this is superficial. Most of this is just on the surface. Back here is where things are really structural, structural, and here. The damage is not too bad. You could probably cut this out, just weld you a new section in there, and it'd probably look good as new. As far as the door, big deal. Replace the doors. Taking a look at the B-pillar, it looks straight. I don't see any kinks. I don't see any damage to the B-pillar at all, yet. Boy, that sucker. Woo! All the doors still work. I mean, they don't work great, but they still work. B pillar looks good here. Yeah, I think the B pillar's fine. The rocker looks fine. A little, uh, a tiny ding right there. And the big question, and I, I think I already see, yeah. Well, that sucks. The A pillar is damaged down here at the bottom, I think. It could be made like this, but I don't think so. It looks like there's a kink right here. It's so hard to see, but it looks like a kink right here. It looks like this whole thing got pushed in pretty hard because this top one is nice and flush. But if you come down to the bottom one, that sucker is pushed in pretty good. So very likely there's some damage there. We'll look at the driver's side door and we'll be able to tell for sure if it's made that way. Um, that unfortunately could be the end of this car. Yeah, you can see it took a direct impact right there, too. Let's go take a look at the driver's side. And I think we all already know the answer to this, but we'll check anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. See, top one is nice and out and exposed, and the bottom one is also nice and exposed. Nice and flush, whereas the other side is completely pushed in. So you've got some, you got some A-pillar damage. A-pillars are not fun. They're not fun at all. So 
Uh, cutting all those spot welds out, I can understand exactly why this car is sitting here salvaged. Let's see if she's got power. Oh, well, it wouldn't matter. She doesn't have keys. Uh, this is not one I think somebody stole the keys on, although I'm not sure why they wrapped an empty zip tie around the steering wheel. Maybe it's... No? Well, she's dead anyway, but there are no keys. That's fine. After seeing the damage to the A-pillar, I'm no longer... Oh, hold on. The key just fell. Oh, I can't get it. How, where was the key? There's the key right there. I heard it fall. It must have been laying on the seat or something. It sure wasn't on the keychain. I can't get that. Uh, it is buried under the seat and I can't get to it. Uh, um, dang it. I sure don't want to leave it with no key, man. Um, I didn't see a key when I got in here. So hell, maybe it didn't fall. Maybe I'm imagining things, but come on. I just hate for somebody to buy this car and have to, have to the first thing I do is make a key. It's gonna cost them what, you know, $160, $250 for a key when all I had to do was take an extra 30 seconds out of my day to make sure that the key was, we need to put it somewhere safe because when the loaders pick these things up, these keys could go anywhere. So I'm gonna put the key right there in the cup holder. It should be nice and safe there. We'll pop the hood real quick and take a peek. I still don't know how the hell that key got there. Uh, I'm not interested in starting it. What the heck? Come on, there we go. Oh, there she is. Little turbo four. Cute little engine, probably runs great. Don't know the mileage, but like I said at this point, don't really care. I'm glad we found that key though. That'll save somebody a lot of headache in the future. Let's see if we can close this. That sucker is fighting me. Now there is a gnarly 5.0 right there. This looks like the performance pack. I had one and they came with these uh, performance pack wheels only in a manual transmission. So if it's a performance pack, we'll pop the door here and it will be a stick. Yep, it's a stick. Boy, she is in bad shape. Wow. Oh, it's an automatic. That's an automatic. Are you kidding me? I thought it was a stick. Yeah. This is a newer model, so maybe, just maybe, I'm wrong. Maybe you could get the performance pack in an automatic. Those sure do look like my performance pack wheels, but I could have swore I had a 2015 Mustang GT performance pack. I could have swore you could only get that in a manual transmission. Somebody comment below and tell me if I was wrong about that. This, this, what, what, can somebody tell me what the hell this stupid, ridiculous looking thing is? This is plastic, just, oh yeah. Let me tell you something. It's called Street Arrow as in aerodynamics. Oh yeah, man. That's gonna do a lot for the aerodynamics of the car. I, I promise you. Somebody tried to tint these taillights and that is that is awful. They're wrinkled and coming apart. Ugh. Yeah, okay, well, you know, I try not to be too judgmental, you know what I mean? Everybody's got their own style and their own taste and it may not be mine, but it's not my car, so. Really, is it any of my business? It is not, but sometimes I just, I see things like that and it's just like, come on, man. That, that's not doing anything for the aerodynamics of the car. Let's continue on our journey. I see a whole bunch of really smashed cars, guys. Just a ton of really, this one. Wow. That even had the frame wrecker on it. What did you hit? Good Lord. I mean, it, it almost made that brush guard or that frame destroyer, it almost made it part of the whole truck. Jeez. 
Oh, yeah, that doesn't... That no longer goes up anymore. Can you even see in there? Is there still an engine and everything in there? Looks like that's all part of the interior now. Wow. That's... Yeah. That is absolutely insane. Not to worry, though. All of this... That is all dirt. Dirt. It's all dirt. All right, so that's good to know. Oh, wow. Wow, look at the overlap of that door. Look at that. Okay, let's go over to the other side. Boy, she was a nice, nice truck too. Let's see what she looks like in here. Oh, those doors weigh about a thousand pounds. Surprisingly, the interior doesn't look bad at all. I would have thought that the uh, dashboard would have been broken apart in a million pieces as far back as it looks like that engine got shoved. But it, this thing did a phenomenal job of protecting the people that were inside. Seriously, it really is. If you go back and you look, um, who is it? The uh, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration they did a video a while back of like a, I don't know, a 60s Impala or something like that. And they crashed it in to a 2000s Impala. And you would have thought that the new Impala would have been obliterated by the old one. And it was exactly the opposite. As it turns out, the passengers in the old Impala would have been decapitated. They'd be dead. Whereas... In the new Impala, they would have walked away with a few minor bruises and cuts because of how these things are designed to fold up like this to protect the passenger, to absorb all of that energy that's coming through the vehicle. Instead of that energy going straight through the vehicle and into the passenger, it's designed to be dispersed equally, evenly, controlled through these crunch zones. It makes a huge difference. Well, this should look familiar. We saw this one last week. And it's still here. So many of you told me to avoid this one like the plague. You said, do not even think about looking at this LR4 seriously. But you said that the LR3 was actually known to be pretty reliable. So I kept that in mind. And like I said, the, uh, the, uh, the LR4 there, that's out of my price range, guys. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about it. I couldn't even afford it to begin with. The LR3, however, now that's something I think... I could fit in my budget when it comes up for auction. We're gonna walk around a little more and we're about to call it a day. Another dang Mustang. What is with these Mustangs, man? I'm seeing a lot of these things out here smashed up. Those wheels and tires actually look real good on this. That yeah, looks nice. I like that. I like the way they fit. That looks really, really nice. Man, what a shame. This Cadillac. Oh, we saw this one. Never mind. We already looked at that one. I remember that is one that looks really good, but she's got some pretty serious problems. I already see an S-Class over there, but it's on the other side, which means that's going to come up in another video. Smash BMW. Golly. Well, guys, we might be done for the day here because I'm not seeing anything else that's even remotely entertaining to me. I mean... There's a Civic. That ain't getting fixed. Well, let me see if I can find one more for y'all. And I found it. Here it is. How bad is it? Well, it could be worse than it looks. But initially, I don't think it's that bad. It's a 2015 SLK 55 AMG. This... Obviously, we'll go for a little bit of money, but I think it'll still be reasonably priced. The body is in really good shape. Good wheels, good tires. We got a broken mirror right here, which is honestly the least of this car's problems. It's got a clear bra on the front right here. That didn't help it from the accident any. But seriously, it looks... Oh, there might be a tad bit of frame damage. Dang it, hold on. Yeah, yeah, there is. Right there. She's been she's been kinked there. You can see a little damage there as well. 
not the end of the world though if you could get this off she's going to need a frame straightener though somebody's going to have to straighten this out this has all got to be replaced like all of this is trashed a little damage over here the frame may have taken a slight impact right here as well but again i don't think this is anything that can't be fixed this totally could be fixed assuming it didn't somehow kink the frame further back a little bit of damage down here as well oh she's got power too and they gave you the skid plate oh man i hate seeing stuff like this ah i mean it's glad that they included it but look at the uh look at the damage it does you know what i mean is it worth it probably not probably not oh yeah yeah yeah. i like the way these seats feel this is nice nice place to be very nice place to be oh yeah she sounds nice sounds real nice steering feels good important window works less important window works look at that skylight right there sunroof sorry sunroof wow i like this i like this a lot look at those gauges i'm sure she goes right into gear yeah yeah uh, air conditioning works which means we don't have a blown condenser that's nice that's one less thing that you got to replace i'm wondering is there a uh was there a button for the exhaust or no sport i guess i guess there's no buttons for the exhaust so it's not valved you hear that let me turn this ac off Hold on, where's the... Listen to this. Put those windows down. Oh, man. She sounds nice. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's pop the hood. I hate, I hate to put that thing back in here. But I have to. It's not my fault. I didn't do it. And believe it or not, Copart didn't do it either, guys. That's the insurance company or the body shop, whoever. They just throw the stuff back in when they're done. So we will do the same. The hood is trashed. Let's see if we can find the hood release there. Oh, she doesn't want to go up. That's a lot of engine packed into this little bitty car, guys. Take a look at that. It's beautiful, though. I would never want to work on it. Not ever in my life would I want to try to work on this thing. But I guarantee you, driving it is an absolute blast. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get out of here. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my videos. I truly appreciate it. Drop your comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.